A rural woman has just rescued a girl who was abused by her stepmother, but the police took her away regardless of the truth, in order to return her to her guardian. How will the poor girl, who tried to escape from her stepmother, live the rest of her life? Rayhan watched her being taken away and could not do anything about it, which only broke her heart and made her cry. The next day, Rayhan received a huge bouquet of flowers. Amir is curious to know who sent them, so he goes through his wife's cell phone and finds a man named Ismet. He asked Rayhan to work with him tomorrow. Amir gets jealous and tries to sneak the flowers away, but when he turns around, he bumps into Rayhan. Amir can only explain that he wanted to take the flowers outside to get some sun. But where's the sun at night? Amir knew his excuse was too bad, so he put the flowers back. Rayhan said that she had an appointment to work tomorrow. Of course Amir knew it was his mat. He wanted Rayhan not to go, but he didn't know how to stop her, so he left the room in an aggravated state. In fact, this is mad as a woman who is a member of a charitable foundation. Because Rayhan had selflessly helped the homeless girl Bella, the charity foundation invited Rayhan to join them. They usually do what they can to help widows and orphans. Lindy is also a member of the foundation. When she found out that Rayhan had joined the foundation, she became jealous and angry. She couldn't allow Rayhan to be equal to her, so she decided to make a big donation to the foundation to raise her status. But she couldn't come up with that kind of money at the moment. So Lindy stole her family's jewelry and took it to a loan shark to get the money. But Lindy didn't know that her vanity almost got her killed. The next day, Rayhan was going to work with his mat. Amir couldn't take it anymore and warned Rayhan to watch her behavior. Even though their marriage is fake, Rayhan is still his wife in name only. Rayhan doesn't understand why her husband is so mad and angry at her all of a sudden. Just as Amir is about to leave in anger, he opens the door and meets Ismet. Ismet had come to pick up Rayhan for her volunteer work today. When Amir realizes that Ismet is a woman, he thinks that he has misunderstood Rayhan again, and he scolds himself for being an idiot. Just when Amir decides to go to Rayhan to apologize, Hey Mitsana, when Nana realized that he was going to see Rayhan, she asked him not to go, but he didn't want to talk to her. Anna lost her temper and cried so hard that her makeup broke off. She vowed to win Amir back. When Amir found Rayhan, he didn't say a word but just worked silently, like a child who made a mistake. Rayhan saw how serious he was and brought him a glass of orange juice. Amir was as happy as a silly boy, and after that he worked even harder. Suddenly Rayhan slipped and fell into Amir's arms. The atmosphere became ambiguous as they looked at each other. At first Rayhan stares blankly at Amir, but when she realizes that she's fallen into her husband's arms, she's a bit overwhelmed. Amir then gently wipes the paint off her face. On the other hand, Tycoon has noticed the jewelry is missing and asks his wife what happened. Lindy explains that the jewelry was sent to the store for cleaning. Tycoon wasn't convinced by this answer, which made Lindy realize that she had to get the jewelry back as soon as possible. So the next day, she embezzled money from the company and took it with her to get the jewelry back. Rayhan saw Lindy leaving the house in a panic and followed Lindy because she felt uncertain. When Lindy handed over the money to redeem the jewelry, she was stopped by Sam. Sam said she needed to pay twice the ransom before she could take the jewelry. Lindy realized that she had been tricked, and since she had to get the jewels back now, she stole them when he wasn't looking, but she was soon caught by the loan sharks. They were ready to teach Lindy a lesson. Rayhan, who has just arrived, sees this and calls Amir, but when she tried to call the police again, she was spotted by Sam. And Lindy didn't realize the seriousness of the situation. She said she paid twice the ransom just to get them to leave her alone. Sam slaps her to the ground when she hears this, which scares Lindy. But when she saw Rayhan, she got all condescending again. She said, are you happy to see me like this? I'm like this because of you. You scourge. Rayhan didn't want to argue with Lindy. She just said that she had informed Amir and was sure that he would come to their rescue soon. Lindy suddenly became agitated when she heard that her son was coming because she didn't want him to see her in such a state. Lindy rushes to Sam and says that her husband is a plutocrat. So if they let her go, they can't get as much money as they want. Sam ignored her and reported her identity to the boss. Worried that he would be caught in the crossfire, the boss decided to quietly eliminate the two women. When Amir arrived, Sam was digging a hole to bury them. Amir took the opportunity to sneak up on the boss and threatened Sam to release Rayon and Lindy. However, as soon as Sam releases the women, the boss suddenly attacks and fights with Amir. Amir told the women to run, but he was caught by Sam. The boss chases after Rayon and Lindy. They were forced to the edge of a broken building by the boss, and if they took another step forward, they would fall to their deaths. Lindy begged him to let her go, but the boss pushed the two women down without mercy. Amir finally got rid of Sam and came over and knocked out the boss. When he looked downstairs again, he saw his wife and his mother clinging to the wall. At any moment, they might not be able to hold on and fall off the building. Who should Amir say first? 
when his mother and his wife fell at the same time. Who should he save first? It's an agonizing experience for Amir. His mother was screaming at the top of her lungs for him to save herself first, but his wife told him to save his mom first. Amir could only pull his mom up first, but his wife was about to fall from the building. Amir immediately grabbed Rayon, who had already lost her strength. His mom, however, did nothing. After he tried his best to save Rayhan, she rolled her eyes and fainted. Amir knew that he had wronged his wife. When they got home, he looked at Rayhan's injured hand and felt so guilty. He didn't know how to face Rayhan. Rayhan said that not only did she not blame him, but she understood his choice. Amir is shocked because he didn't expect Rayhan to say that. But Lindy is not so lucky. Tycoon is furious when he realizes what she has done. He loudly reprimands Lindy for almost harming his daughter Amal. He never thought his wife was such a despicable woman. Tycoon couldn't tolerate Lindy's damaging behavior and immediately said he wanted to divorce Lindy. Lindy cried and begged Tycoon to give her another chance. But Tycoon's mind is made up. Lindy then approached Rayon, who thought her mother-in-law had come to pick another fight. But Lindy said she just wanted to talk to Rayon. Lindy told Rayon, You're a very kind girl. You've changed Amir a lot. You've brightened up Amir's world. I am very grateful for what you have done for the family, but I have not done my job as your mother-in-law. I sincerely apologize for everything I've done. If I am not around anymore, please take care of Amir and this family. Rayhan instantly realized what her mother-in-law meant. When she finds Tycoon and asks him about it, she realizes that he's planning to divorce Lindy. Rayhan urges Tycoon to think twice. After all, everyone makes mistakes. She asks him to give her mother-in-law another chance. Tycoon was so relieved that Rayhan had said that, that he agreed to her request. The day came for Layla to go to the hospital to have her legs examined, but Layla didn't want to go. After years of treatment with no results, she had given up on her paralyzed legs. Rayon couldn't bear to see Layla give up on herself, so she encouraged her not to give up. As long as she insisted on treatment, her legs would surely recover, but Rayon's words pierced her heart. Layla instantly lost control of her emotions and yelled at her to leave immediately, and that she never wanted to see Rayon again. Amir hears the commotion and rushes over to comfort his sister. Amir then blames Rayon for being too awful, and that she shouldn't have forced Layla to do what she couldn't do. However, this time Lindy said something nice about Rayon for the first time in her life. She tells Amir, you should be nicer to your wife. She's doing this for your sister's sake. Anna is shocked to hear this. She doesn't understand how Lindy has become a kind woman today. Layla left a letter and ran away from home, saying she didn't want to be a burden to her family. When Rayon saw the letter, she was full of remorse. She thought it was all because of her stubbornness that Layla left home. When Amir reads the letter, he gets angry and says, My sister has left home because of you. Are you happy now? Rayhan didn't argue but went with Amir to look for Layla. But they didn't find anything for a day. When they returned home disappointed, the family was even more worried about Layla. They couldn't imagine how a girl with a disability could live on the outside. Layla was in a wheelchair in the middle of the road because of her disability. Luckily, someone saved her in the nick of time. Meanwhile, Amir blamed his wife for his sister's disappearance. Layla wouldn't have run away if she hadn't forced her to get her legs treated. Luckily, when Layla came home in the evening, the family was happy to see her safe and sound. Amir warned his wife not to go near his sister. She had no choice but to stand in the doorway and look at the sleeping Layla and pray that she would be alright. But then she has nightmares late at night because of the stress she's under. Amir blames himself for her terror. He told his wife not to be afraid and said he would stay by her bedside tonight. The next day when Rayon was about to leave the house, her mother-in-law told her to be safe. I sees this and is angry and jealous, not convinced why everyone has to be nice to her. So she excuses herself and offers to give Rayhan a ride. The housekeeper watched as Rayhan got into Anna's car. The more Anna thought about it, the angrier she got. She couldn't control her emotions. She pressed the gas and accelerated. Rayhan told her to slow down, but when she heard that, she drove faster and faster. After seeing Rayhan's fear, she increased the speed to 140 km per hour. On the other hand, Layla, who had just woken up from her nap, cried with excitement because her toes, which had been paralyzed since childhood, could move. She excitedly shared this joy with her brother and asked him to go and tell her sister-in-law the good news right away. But just as Amir reaches the kitchen, he receives a call from his secretary saying that Anna has been involved in a serious traffic accident. The housekeeper is shocked to hear this because she saw Rayhan going out in Anna's car today. Amir's eyes instantly turned red when he heard that, and he turned around and rushed to the hospital. When he arrived at the hospital, he realized that down scenes of people were killed or injured in the accident. Since, there was no record of Rayhan at this hospital, he rushed to another one, but here too, there was no record of Rayhan. Only an unidentified patient in surgery. Amir and his friend waited outside the operating room for the body of the victim. 
Looking at the burned body, Amir didn't have the courage to continue to identify who it was. Luckily, his friends soon realized that the victim was not Rayhan. But Amir was just relieved when he got a call from the police. The police had found his wife's purse at the scene of the accident and asked him to claim it. It's a bowl from the blue for him, looking at the burnt back with a photo of him in it. This strong man can't help but break down in tears. He thought of all the harm he had done to Rayhan and couldn't forgive himself. If he can't find Rayhan, he doesn't know how he'll survive. Meanwhile, when Rayhan's father-in-law finds out the news, he bursts into tears because he regrets letting Rayhan marry his son. Lindy thinks of how she has never been nice to Rayhan since her came into the family, and it is hard for her to think about it. Layla even breaks down and cries, remembering that her sister-in-law wanted to cure her paralyzed leg, but she lost her temper with her and now she doesn't even have a chance to apologize to her. Amir, on the verge of a breakdown, had just driven home when he saw the back of the woman, who was so deeply embedded in his soul. Could this time be a hallucination? If not, I'll never let you go again.